Welcome to Nirmal Bang, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hiral Dadia. We have with us Mr. G.S. Agarwal, CFO at Sri Ram Housing Finance, joining in. Welcome to the show, Mr. Agarwal, and a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, my first question coming to you is, the RBI came out, increased rates. What's the kind of impact are you expecting and what's your view of the same? Yeah, so the impact will uh, be quite severe in the long term, but in the short term, I don't think that the impact will be too much. Like in our case, our around 10% of our borrowings are repo linked. So there the increase of 40 bips will mean uh, my overall cost of fund will go up by around 4%, uh, 4 basis point. So, uh, but yes, in long term, the banks will increase their MCLR, like some of the banks have already declared a hike in MCLR yesterday only. And that ranges from 10 to 15 basis point. So the overall cost of fund will go up by around 10 to 15 basis point in this coming financial year. And uh, if the RBI comes out with another hike, that would have an impact in the second half of the year. Right. So by when, what's the kind of translation are we seeing in the medium term? So uh, the repo impact has been immediate. So already the repo, all, all the borrowings which are repo linked have already increased. So the cost of fund has already gone up by those uh, borrowings. Mm. However, the banks are increasing the MCLR gradually and that will come, the impact will come only when the repricing will be due. So all the loans are not immediately repriced. Some of the loans are after the six months or some after the nine months. So the gap will be on an average will be around say six months for the uh, financial year. Right. And overall, if you see in terms of impact from a demand perspective, are you expecting anything? No, so uh, the housing finance market as such, or in that uh, matter, finance market is uh, quite robust right now, and the, there is a huge demand from the industry. So this increase of 40 basis point will not have too much of demand, uh, uh, too much of impact on the demand as per se. Because in, in case of home loans, if you see that a 15 year home loan for a 10 lakh of rupees, uh, the impact will be somewhere around 2% on the overall EMI cost. Mm. So if my EMI today is 11,000 rupees, uh, that will go up by around 250 uh, rupees uh, approximately. So I don't see that there will be dampening of demand as such immediately on this. Uh, yeah, but long term, if RBI comes out with uh, more hikes, then there might be some impact uh, on the demand. Right. Uh, overall, if we see in terms of FI22 as well, a lot of milestones that the company has achieved in terms of crossing 5,000 crore AUM, uh, PBT of 100 and, uh, crores plus, and the kind of sanctions that we've got from NHB as well. So clearly, what has led to this kind of growth? Yeah, so last year was a very good year for us, mm -hmm. uh, both in terms of growth as well as the portfolio quality. So our portfolio quality stacked up very well. Uh, the new book which we originated from last three years after the change of management is doing extremely well. So we have around only 0.28% of delinquency in the new book, which consists of almost 86% of our AUM. So that has given us the confidence to grow much faster. And uh, current financial year also, we have a huge growth plans. Uh, we wish to take our AUM from 5,000 crore now to almost 8,000 to 8,500 crore in this financial year, by end of this financial year. Okay. And overall, if you see in terms of the collection efficiency as well, that's increasing at almost more than 100% now. So do you think this could be maintained? Yes, yes. So uh, the way our portfolio is stacking up and the way we, uh, we are doing our underwriting, we are very, very selective in terms of choosing our customers. And uh, like almost more than 80% of my customers are having a civil score of more than 700. So that uh, gives us a confidence that our collection efficiency will be maintained. It will be closer to 100. It will not be 100 plus always, but it will be close to 98, 99%. Hmm. Hmm. Forward also. Right. And in terms of geographies, what's the kind of expansion plan that we're looking at? So right now we are focusing in our uh, core states, which are the eight focus states. So uh, four states of South and uh, in West, we are in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan and uh, Delhi NCR. So we will continue to focus in these four states. We are also slowly expanding uh, in MP, uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. Uh, in uh, Andhra Pradesh, we are having a very expansion, a big expansion plan where we have uh, manned all the 178 branches of Shiram City Union Finance, which is our parent company. So that's project we are calling it Grihapurti. 
Mm, mm. That has been successful in APTG. So APTG, we are now the largest uh, financial in terms of geographical presence, and that is going to pay off. Uh, that investment which we have made in the last financial year is going to pay off in this finan- current financial year. Right, and in terms of Griya Purti as well, we've crossed fifty crores already in terms of quarterly disbursals. Right, uh, what's the kind of target that we have this year in terms of Griya Purti disbursals, and what? percentage of the dis, uh, disbursals will that actually contribute so this year we are planning almost 400 to 500 crore uh, disbursal in rehpurti project and that will constitute around 10 to 12% of our overall uh, disbursements okay and uh, overall if you see in terms of rehpurti as well uh, clearly in terms of retail distribution and home loan contribution Retail, you told me, what's the home loan contribution looking like out of it? So, Gripurti is almost hundred percent home loan. There are very few, I mean, one or two percent mm-hmm. lab cases. Otherwise, it's hundred percent home loans, and it's completely direct. Uh, so, there mm-hmm. is no DSA or intermediary involved in this. Okay, and and in terms of where. uh product mix goes you know for the overall company are we expecting a change on the product mix end no so we are planning to maintain almost 60% in home loans uh, around 30% will be in uh, loan against properties and around 5 to 7% will be my uh, construction finance goal. right and this is what some that uh, this is going to continue right So going to continue right coming. and in terms of the average ticket size as well it continues to remain in that 15 to 16 and a half lakh value yeah so our intention is to bring it down a little bit and because of the grahpurti expansion uh, the ticket where the gra- ticket size is much lower it's around 13 lakhs in grahpurti uh, whereas our overall otherwise ticket size is around uh-huh. 16 lakhs so we expect that ticket uh, size to stab- stabilize between around 14 to 15 lakhs okay okay and and clearly if you see in terms of where uh, overall cost of borrowing goes i know you mentioned this earlier but do you think at, i mean what's your average that you're looking at to maintain so our cost of borrowing for the entire year will should be around uh, closer to 8% it should be lower than 8% and with nhb funding coming in a big way it will be even further come down okay and uh, very uh, lastly if you see in terms of where a uh, reduction in npas and stage 3 assets is concerned how is that looking like because we've seen a good downward trend now yeah. so our stage 3 has already come down to around 1.11% uh, yeah. without rbi circular with rbi circular it is around 1.7% so that we see stabilizing somewhere around close to 1.25% uh, mm. during the year uh, with rbi circular okay. okay and 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 clearly in terms of where overall milestones go uh, what are the next milestones we are looking to cross in the next 3 to 5 years now so next milestone we are looking at 10000 crore of aum which we expect to uh, get into around in uh, mid of fy24 uh, this year we should be crossing 8000 crore and that is the biggest mi- milestone we are looking for right now and uh, mm-hmm. in terms of profitability uh, this year our profitability should uh, pat should cross 150 crore so these are the two immediate milestone we are looking at absolutely and they look like aggressive but achievable milestones taking the track record now into consideration yeah. with the fabulous years and the growth and the effort that has been put in as well but thank you so much mr agarwal congratulations once again and good luck for the coming quarters speak to you soon again and stay safe thank you hiram thank you subscribe to our youtube channel for in depth interviews of india inc and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates